The ACE satellite monitors the various parameters of the solar wind, magnetic field strength, magnetic orientation. These are essential for predicting the strength of the impact of any solar event on Earth. However, the satellite was only designed for research and is now reaching the end of its life. These storms happen all the time during solar maxima. The ACE satellite detects them, and that's what will give us advanced warning. Advanced warning of what? Impact. How advanced? Anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. Oh, no, wait. You're telling me we don't know when these things are going to hit us? It's complicated. It could change its speed. It could slow down. Well, that's going to make 8 million New Yorkers feel better. And not just New Yorkers. The whole planet is desperate to know what only the ACE satellite can tell them. Despite the size of the storm, there is no way of knowing whether it will be damaging until they know its polarity. Just like a magnet, the solar storm has either a north or southward polarity. ACE can tell which way it is oriented. North and it could bounce harmlessly off the magnetosphere and back out into space. But the other option is what everyone fears. When you get a storm that has an extremely large southward magnetic field component and it's very fast, you know you're going to have a super big geomagnetic storm. Until the storm hits ACE, there's just no way of knowing. The main force of the storm, the CME, is still several hours away. But here on Earth, the solar radiation is continuing to wreak havoc. The damaged plane is seconds away from landing here on runway three. It's confirmed two of the engines damaged by the solar storm have failed. There are unconfirmed reports that it might have affected the braking system. Now we know there are 318 people on this plane. I'm very concerned. If you're using the most advanced technology, which leans electronics, you could have upsets. You could have failures. For example, if an airplane engine shut down or two engines shut down, is it probable? Yes, it is. No, 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 no. The plane has overshot the runway and has hit the freeway. I I'm not sure if it's hit any cars. M my God, cars are, are swerving around it. With the potential for a catastrophic blackout only hours away, the mayor has to make a tough decision. Does she advise people to leave work or stay put? Millions of dollars of lost business are at stake if she is wrong. And if she is right, she could be saving hundreds of lives. As the solar storm approaches, authorities begin planning for the worst. We need to shut down. Just do it. Give us an overview of the logistics. Okay, fine. I suggest we start looking at stockpiling gas in case the pumps go down. And putting water supplies in areas around the city. People stuck in elevators and on subways. That's going to be a major issue. We'll send them in. Hospitals will be a number one concern. I'm sorry it took me so long to get here. Have a seat. Thank you. Look, here's what I think. It might be a good idea to consider disconnecting and shutting down from some of the city's electrical stations. A deliberate blackout. Exactly. We shut them down before the solar storms do. Why shut them down? Well, if they're not on when the storms hit, they can't be damaged. What about emergency services, hospitals, or traffic? We've had plenty of space weather in the past, and we haven't shut off the grids. This is crazy. Well, if this thing hits us, the grid systems are going to take an almighty kick. We could be left without power at all, period. For how long? Well, for as long as it takes to build new transformers. We're talking months here, maybe even years. Shutting down a power station could save the transformers attached to it. Normally, power stations send high voltage electricity down the line to transformers that convert it into low voltage for consumers. The U.S. has around 2,000 large transformers, and these will be the vulnerable points in the power grid when the solar storm arrives. Around the world, tens of thousands of transformers face the same threat of destructive overload. 
in the world right now, we have a manufacturing capability to produce somewhere in the neighborhood of about 70 to 100 of these large transformers per year. Turning off one power station will not only save a few transformers, but more importantly, after the storm, it could be the only source of power for the entire city. It's a bit like Russian roulette. Intentionally shutting down the grid would be an unprecedented uh, thing to uh, consider. If I were a system operator for a large grid, that would be a once in a career decision. A power station takes around an hour to shut down, so any decision will have to be made before the true destructive force of the storm is known. Look, we've been over and over this. A deliberate blackout is not an option. It's a gamble on a theory. You don't have to do it now. We have a couple of hours to make a decision. Look, the mayor is already giving her answer. How much more information do you need? This is the biggest CME anyone has ever seen. No one knows for sure what's going to happen to us when this hits. Well, what do we know? It's going to hit the A satellite in a couple of hours. Look, it, this, if this storm is big, it's really going to be hell on Earth for a long time, man. If I was in the captain's chair, having to make that, that very, very difficult, complex decision, I'd want as much objective information as possible. I'll walk you outside. I want to know what are the consequences if I don't do this, and when do I run out of time to make this decision? If we do a deliberate blackout, what will that do to emergency services? Fire, police, hospitals? We have backup generators that will last for about 72 hours. I'll need to call the governor. We'll also need to look into putting the National Guard on standby. Can you just power down Brooklyn in isolation? I can coordinate that, yeah. You go back, Peter, and I'll be in touch. Sure. Oh, Peter. If I'm not in touch, well, you seem like a man of initiative. You understand me? Of course. Making the call to have a controlled blackout in one area is a gamble. It's never been done before. The odds are that uh, you would be wrong in uh, taking that action, that the storm would be manageable and didn't require such uh, drastic action. The other side of it is a possibility of long-term devastating impacts.